Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another beautifully polygonal day here on my procedurally generated Minecraft server. Oh, that tree just grew over my shoulder, and it just grew again. Pretty cool. Anyways, I'm over here at my Organizotron 8000, just doing a little quick cleaning up stuff. I realized overnight that uh, if this was knocked out and this was open, then critters would be able to come down in here if I happen to be working on something through the night, which would routinely happen if I was AFK. So what I decided to do was go ahead and put this slab layer here, this half slab layer. I don't think it changes too much. It takes away a little bit of the depth, but it still works. I can get in and out, as you can see, it's a bit of a tight fit, and that's on purpose because this block is now one, two, and a half tall. This one is three, so we are going to have a little security protocol going on. Oop, 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 oop. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to do a little work around here. Okay. Okay. And is that not how you make an iron golem? Hi, buddy. How are you? So, uh, the answer to the question, gang, is yes, that is how you construct an iron golem. However, the block beneath both of his arm bits that were out there. Let me go ahead and show you what he looked like here. The blocks beneath his arms, these blocks, this guy right here, needs to be an air block. As does, no wait, those two need to be air blocks. But the one that he was standing on didn't need to be. So I had basically cracked out a couple extra pieces of stone slab and... Voila, he just kind of appeared. Then I just kind of pushed him a little bit, got him up and out of there, and then closed it back up. So now he can hang out there and be security at the Organizatron 8000. And if I need to, I can go either side of him, still get around. But if a zombie were to come in here, or, I don't know, anybody else, I suppose, anybody else that would aggravate him in such a way, he would defend my villagers. So defense is priority number one. Keep an eye on these guys. I'm trusting you, Iron Golem, dude. Okay, gang, number two on my list of things to do is to upgrade this barbecue. Wow, we got to see it live and in action. Those guys are just growing up tall enough to get into the fire. And they're dropping into the hopper, which is going into this chest, and we are getting cooked meat and feathers. Is this a trap chest? Hmm. Apparently not. Maybe I just didn't get any that time. But as you can see, it has been working. But this is problematic. So what I'd like to do is kind of upgrade this thing. I'm going to go ahead and convert it to a fully automatic farm. Let me go ahead and open this door up. We're going to need to get in here. We're going to liberate these chickens. Let them get out if they would like. How many are in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Not too many. Yeah, you guys can come on out. i got to do some repairs in here anyways. So what's going to happen is... I am going to streamline this a little bit more, and we're going to go down two more so that I will be able to actually set up a hopper uh, into a dropper elevator. So it'll go up, and then the automation will happen down here, and the pulse signal will travel up. Otherwise, I'll have to reconstruct this whole thing, and I don't really want to do that. I just want to... I want to keep the aesthetics of it the same because I've already built it once, right? So why not? So I need to go down a little bit, and I need to adjust these a little bit. So those guys will go down one, what did I say, two more? And then they'll run into that, right? So let me go ahead and kind of clear out this area a little bit just to see what I'm working with and how I can put in my redstone, much like this, into a ladder over here. It's probably not going to take much of an adjustment. You know, I'll have... Uh, a dropper down there. This square will be a dropper, which I need to go build. This square will be a dropper. Correction. This square will be a dropper. This square will be a dropper. And that'll dispense out into that hopper that goes there. But over here, I'm going to have redstone that's going to create pulses that'll pulse up this tower. So let me go ahead and clear this out, and I'll show you what I'm talking about.
Okay, gang, I've gotten things to a point now where I can show you what's up, and I'll do that first by coming over here and showing you that I kind of knocked out this area just to show you how little space there is. Those are going to have to be dirt now on the interior rather than like a stone bunker. And here is also going to have to be dirt because... Uh, well, I've talked in the past about how I like to kind of keep my redstone and my builds in general kind of encased in something. So what I'm doing is I'm going to, my building block of choice is going to be stone brick. And I'm going to need to run redstone like this, right? And it's going to go into a block and ladder up here. But I normally would have like the whole room en encompassed in this stone brick. So that's why I'm letting you know <laughs> why there's dirt there. Because it has to be. Anyways, so it'll go into this guy. This guy will be a redstone torch right here. Boom. All right. And that will go into this guy. And that will redstone torch there. And that will power that one when that happens. And this one, I believe, can come out. All right, and torch, torch, and now that one's got a block under it, so now if I do this, that should create a redstone signal all the time that there's something here. So if there's a dropper here, it's going to be facing up. If something's in it, it'll go into this comparator, which will send out a pulse into that repeater, which will give it a full signal strength, and minus one, minus one into this block, uh, will that work? Do I have to put dust on there? Let's find out real fast. Do I have a chest on me? No, but I do have a hopper. So very, very quickly, we will run the hopper into that. And we will put an item in there. Let's say a piece of pumpkin pie. A pulse is there. But it's not doing any comparison. Any comparison? So let me see if I put a little piece of redstone dust there. That's not where I wanted that to go. Something's in there. That's where the redstone torch is. Okay, I gotta reevaluate this. I'll be right back. All right, gang, welcome back. I have been reevaluating my loop here, and something about it didn't look quite right, so I think I'm gonna try a little different approach here. We'll give it a outer ring like this. And this side will be the ticking side. And then over here we can just kind of... This is where I could run it into a torch tower. Because boom, it'll power that. Let me get out of here. And if I put a redstone torch there, boom, that'll power that. And if I put a block again on top of that... That can power, and another torch. Right? So that should work now. Let's see here. And these hoppers go down, and then into the bottom side. All right, so let me, whoops, let me go ahead and put some eggs in there. I heard some go. Oh, because not everything <laughs> is what you wanted to see go in there. Okay, so let's try again. Ooh, sounded like three eggs got dispensed. Everything appears to be functioning. I also wanted to clean this up a little bit because it's a little... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Well, it was a little inefficient uh, amongst other things. So let me go ahead and stick... Let me see. This was the actual wall, and the chickens were there. And I had... Oh, one ran into that, and one ran into this which I guess I still kind of want to have happen. So let me have one run into this. And then this one can run into this. Well, go into there and then there. Then out the back here, this can be the wall again. Excellent. Okay, so I'm going to close this up. Uh, let's go ahead. Do I have any wood here? I do, but it's for the actual this bits. Okay. So then that wall will be there, and then these will be the two hoppers that will send them out, and then all cosmetically will still be there. 
excellent. Let me get out of this. And decorative bits out. Boom. Boom. I'm going to leave this one open because I'm going to put some chickens in there and probably give them name tags. And we can do this. And I have a whole bunch of extra blocks now. Okay, and this... We'll still do something. <laughs> I think. Let me see. Would it power that? It would power the block behind it, which I think is a torch. Would it power the torch? I don't know. Doesn't sound like it. But this is still working as intended. Excellent. Excellent. All right. So now eggs will be dispensed in that fashion. I need to put more chickens in there, which I can do by grabbing these eggs. One, two, we want to get six in there, so let me go ahead and just keep doing this. Three, wow, this is becoming a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Well, let me just go ahead and do this off camera, if that's the way it's going to be. Four. Yeah, this is going to work just fine. Did it go through the wires? No, it didn't. Anyways, as you can see, now I've got the fully automated redstone system for my chicken coop oven barbecue pit thing that's all upgraded and uh, we got an upgraded security guard for the Organizatron 8000 but I think that's all the time I'm going to use today I've noticed that my niece and nephew have a short attention span still so I don't want to give them too much stuff to look at <laughs> anyways folks if you've enjoyed this by all means give me a thumbs up and if you've really enjoyed it, then by all means consider subscribing. I do this about once a week, and uh, Minecraft is just a little bit of a catharsis for myself and a little bit of hanging out with my niece and nephew. So if you want to watch, then by all means subscribe, and I'll see you real soon. Thank you again for watching, and as I said, I'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.